Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally getting to share my master bedroom makeover on a budget with you guys. This is what the bedroom looked like before. I had a dark bed, dark furniture. My walls were not actually the gray that I wanted. They ended up turning out to be more blue than gray. So that needed to change. So what I'm doing now is just spray painting some of these wall sconces. These are from Kirkland's and I have had these things forever. I had these whenever we lived in our first home. I had like a Tuscany dining room and these looked really great in there, but I love how they look being all white. So I am finally back to painting this bed. It had been, we took a really long break. I had other things I wanted to do, but you can see where Jason was trying to spray paint it. He's really good at spray painting stuff, but this bed was just not, not having it. See how splotchy it is and everything. You can really see it good in this light. So I bought three cans of um, chalk paint, not spray paint, but actual paint. And I'm going to roll it on. I am hoping that this works because I love this bed and uh, I don't have another bed. <laughs> Our mattress and stuff has been sitting on the floor and I really want to get it up off the floor because that's not good, especially in Florida with all the humidity. So this is the paint I'm going to be using to paint the bed. It is by Kills. It is chalk paint, ready to use white. This is the paint that I use to paint the little bookshelf in Amelia's room. If you guys saw that video, if not, I will link it in the iCards and down at the bottom. So the first thing I'm doing is just wiping down the bed and then I'm gonna sand it a little bit. Jason had spray painted, as you saw earlier in the video, in the very beginning, Jason was spray painting the headboard with a chalk spray paint. However, it just did not work on this bed. So I'm going to use this sanding block. I'm going to sand it down just a little bit just to kind of get some of that spray paint off and then I'll wipe it down again. So look at this fancy footwork right here. I'm standing on a step stool one leg, I have my other foot pulling the headboard away from the wall so that I can paint the top of it. Now, if that is not some skills, I don't know what is. <laughs> so the reason our mattress and box springs is on the floor, our old bed, I bought that used off of Facebook Marketplace and it was already broken. One of the slats, the little legs was already broken off and we had to put a paint can under that slat to uh, support the slat. So I guess one day whenever I was rotating the mattress, that paint can got out from under the slat and I didn't realize it because our bed shifts very easily on the tile floor. And then the kids just running and jumping on the bed. There was one day that Bella came in and jumped really hard on it. The other slats uh, broke and it broke in two. So that is why we had to get rid of the other bed. We could have fixed the slats, but I already had this bed in the garage. I actually bought this bed from a thrift store. I paid $75 for it. It used to be like a cream yellowish color. It was very pretty, but just not what I wanted. So as you see, it has these crevices to make the headboard look like shiplap. And when I painted it, some white got down into the crevices. So I am using this acrylic paint in country tan. This is just something that I had in our craft box. And I'm using a very, very teeny tiny paintbrush to paint that brown paint in those crevices. Okay, so I painted in all of the lines, as you saw earlier, and then Occasionally it would come out just a little bit. So I just took the roller, um, the foam roller again and just kind of did a light run over it just to cover up the brown that did come out of the little cracks. I love it. Oh my goodness. So I live in Florida and it was extremely hot in the garage. I was a hot, sweaty mess after I painted the headboard 
and the girls wanted to go play in the pool. So I decided to bring the footboard into the playroom and I just put it up onto the saw horses. <laughs> I have to laugh because we have a joke. Uh, one day I had asked Jason to go get the seahorses out of the shed and he was like, get the what? The seahorses? I'm like, yeah, the things that you put stuff up on so you can work on it or whatever, you know, the seahorses. And like, it never dawned on me. I was calling it seahorses, not sawhorses. <laughs> so that is a running joke now in our family. But this is what the bed looks like all put together. I absolutely love it. I just, oh, I love how it turned out. I could not be any happier with it. So here's where I busted the budget. I had planned on doing this bedroom makeover under $200. It ended up being just shy of $300. And this is the reason why I got the bright idea to paint the nightstands that we had not thinking that it wouldn't turn out because I was using chalk paint. So I just thought it would work. I tried sanding the nightstands and it was a disaster. So I ended up having to buy new nightstands. I did purchase these from Amazon. They are super cheap. They were like 50 some dollars each. I hunted and hunted on Facebook Marketplace and could not find anything that I was looking for. To glam up the nightstands a little bit, I wanted to use these gorgeous knobs. I got these from Home Goods Store. They were $14.99 a package and I bought two packages. So I got this idea to use the plastic wrap in my paint pan from Megan over at Loving Life as Megan. She had got the idea from another YouTuber and decided to use it and then I saw it. So I was like, oh, that's a good idea. So now I am painting the chest of drawers that used to be in Amelia's room. I'm going to use that same Kills chalk paint that I used on the headboard and paint this chest of drawers white. And let me tell you, it made a huge difference. But this thing, you guys, took four coats of paint. I used an entire can of paint just on this chest of drawers. But I love the way it turned out. You are, you are, you are the It is now time to paint these walls a true gray and not this blue color. Whenever I painted the room back about four years ago when we bought the house, I was not happy with the paint color then and never was happy with it because it was very blue looking and not a true gray. So I'm just taking all the furniture out of the room except for the bed and taking down the curtain rod and the curtain hooks. I was going to take the blinds down, but I couldn't figure out how to get them out of the um, thing. They don't just slide out like regular blinds. So I just pulled those up. All right, y'all. I am embarrassed to show you this, but I'm going to show it to you anyways. Um, as a reminder, <laughs> move your furniture every now and then and vacuum behind it. I don't know when the last time I moved that thing and my baseboard is disgusting and that's something I usually vacuum whenever I vacuum the floors and stuff but obviously I have not moved this piece of furniture in a very long time so disgusting so embarrassing don't judge I 
I noticed while I was dusting the baseboards and everything, the AC filter looked like it needed to be changed, and it had been a, quite a while since my husband changed it. Since I had the large ladder out, I went ahead and changed that for him. And now I'm just dusting off the walls and the crown molding. I'm using my e-cloth microfiber mop to do that. I just wanted to get the spider webs and all the dust and stuff that's on the walls off of it before I started painting. And then I went ahead and taped off the baseboard so that I don't get any paint on them and have to touch that up later. This little pail is called a handy paint pail, and I love this thing, especially having to climb up and down the ladder, it comes in handy, hence the name, handy paint pail. You can purchase these little liners to go inside to make cleanup easier, and then on the inside there's a magnet that you can put your paintbrush on and it holds the paintbrush in the bucket or in the pail for like when you're going up and down the ladder, you don't have to worry about dropping the paintbrush or anything like that. It sticks right to the magnet as long as your paintbrush has metal on it. Something else I would definitely recommend is this little pour spout. If you use five gallon buckets like I'm using here, it just makes pouring the paint out so much easier and you're taking less chance of spilling paint everywhere. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting in around the crown molding and get this paint done. You're my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every high, every night with you. You and me so clueless. We were just broken, shattered, singing along to nothing. If you use painter's tape to tape off your baseboards and things, I highly recommend taking the tape off before your paint dries completely on the walls because sometimes the paint will peel off if you wait until it's completely dry and you have paint on the painter's tape and then you're peeling it off, it, you are taking a chance of peeling a little bit of paint off. But if the paint is still a little bit wet, you're not going to mess up the paint when you take that tape off. So here I am in the home stretch. I could not wait to get this done. This is probably about two o'clock in the morning and I was exhausted. Um, I couldn't work on this the entire day. This was on a Saturday. Isabella had a birthday party to go to, so I had to stop in the middle of the day to drop her off for that. And then Amelia is very independent, but she still needs me for some things and I stopped to play and things like that with her. So I didn't get it finished as quickly as I wanted to, but that's okay. It still got done. And this is a couple of days later. Um, actually, I think it's probably about four days later, but now it's time to put the room back together and get it decorated and finish this project up. I've been waiting all my life for someone like you. As you can see, I did not change the comforter for this makeover because I love my comforter. I love it. It's white. It has just enough detail on it. It's not too busy and I just love it. I bought this probably about three years ago from Walmart. It's part of the Better Homes and Garden line and I just love it. I have not got tired of it because it's so neutral that I can change out my pillows the decorative pillows that I use, I can change that out for the different holidays, different seasons, and it still looks good. So I don't see myself getting rid of this comforter anytime soon. It is a king size, and I think it was about $50 whenever I bought it.
new pillows that I have here I purchased from TJ Maxx. I did not include these on the makeover cost because when I was doing this, it's in the fall season and I wanted to buy some fall pillows to begin with. So these are not always gonna be out on the bed. So I didn't feel like this was really for the actual makeover room. I would have bought these anyway to decorate for the fall season. Um, the blue pillows came as a set. They were $25 and the yellow pillow, um, it says grateful on the front. I want to say it was like $12, but like I said, in my cost of the actual makeover room budget, I did not include these pillows in that cost. This little tray here, I have had this thing forever. I had it in our first home. It used to be red and on the inside of it, it had a rooster and some writing and things. And I just painted that one day with some, I think it was just like regular acrylic paint. I just painted that and I thought it looked really cute. So I decided to keep it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and hang up the curtains. I did go ahead and wash those in the washing machine. I love these bay windows, but the curtain rod is such a pain in the rear end to hang up because they have this flexible rubber like stuff where the walls kind of angle in. But like I said, I do love the bay windows. I've always loved those even when I was a kid. So I went ahead and bought new lampshades for the lamps. I didn't like the linen colored uh, lampshades that I had. So I bought some gray ones from Walmart. Those were $30 and I love them. I think it really completes the look on the nightstand instead of that linen color. Now I'm putting on the rest of those knobs that I purchased from home goods. And I think I said earlier, they were $15 each. So $30 for both packs. So funny story, when I was putting the knobs on, one of the screws completely broke off in the knob. And so one of the drawers is missing a knob. I'll just have to glue it on there, I guess. But the room is all done. I love how it turned out. I thought about trying to paint my floor mirror there, but I want to paint it white, but I'm afraid I'll mess it up because it's like a plastic or something. I don't know what kind of material it is, but I would like for it to be white, but I just don't want to mess it up. And I got a really good deal on that years and years ago from Kirkland's. But you guys, look how pretty this is. I did decide to go ahead and put my pink pillows out. It just looked odd with just the two blue ones there. So I think the pink ones just really tie it all in. It's so pretty. I think it's elegant looking. It has a farmhouse touch with the bed having the shiplap look to it, but then it's just glam as well. I just love it. I feel like it's very romantic. I thought about having a sign up above the bed, but I really want the bed to be the main focal point. I feel like my bed now is a piece of art when it's all made and everything. I just love how everything looks. to give you a breakdown of the cost of this makeover. 
I did not include the paint for the walls, which we used Sherwin-Williams Mindful Gray. I didn't include that because that was paint that we had from when we bought the house and it was really hard to tell exactly how much I used because I was using it out of a five gallon bucket. So that was not included. And the paint that I used to paint the sconces, that was not included because I had already purchased that a long time ago for a different project. So the bed itself was $75. The nightstands were $119. The new lampshades were $30. The paint for the chest of drawers and the bed was $40. And the knobs for the drawers, those were $30. I believe that's all that I purchased. So my grand total was $294. Like I said, those nightstands really busted my budget. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite part was in the video. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.